What's up guys, I'm Sean from SRK Cycles and we have an Indian motorcycle. Come on over, tell me about this bike. Uh, 2018 Indian Chief black, uh, Dark Horse. No, uh, it's a dark, dark horse. Dark horse. When did they come out with the Dark Horse? Uh, 15 or 16. Okay. So this is like a vintage without the bags? Right. Yeah, the bags got added, the windshield got added, the fish wheels got added, the, the uh, air folder system. This added. has the, uh, what, what motor? The 111? 111. 111, and I have the two, the stage one and stage two performance packages on it. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. What kind of horsepower do you think that's putting out? Uh, a little over 100, I would say. Yeah. Wow. And, and well over 100 uh, foot pounds of torque. Well, it's definitely, okay, yeah, that's, that's a lot of torque then. <laughs> it's a lot of torque. Because the, the Scout, the regular Scout's about 100 horsepower, but it's only like 75 foot, foot pounds of torque. Yep. If you're over 100 foot pounds of torque. Oh, yeah. uh, I think I'm around 120. Oh, wow. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, it pulls off the line. Uh, any, any gear you can roll on, any gear, any, any, almost any RPM. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful bike. Now, what, um, what made you choose... Uh, the bags are only on there temporarily. Right, right. What, what made you choose uh, Indian? Uh, always wanted an Indian, one of the few bikes I never had, and uh, just had the opportunity. I had a uh, victory, which, which I did, did a, uh, a slew of uh, routine maintenance, but it was thousands of dollars. And they had they were offering a special for a trading at the time, so the Vic had 64,000 miles on it, but needed six thousand dollars in, in maintenance. Right. Throw that on this. Seemed to be a no-brainer to me. Was it a was it a vision? No, uh, yeah, cross country. Cross country. Okay. To, to get my oh, it's just a routine. I mean, it's just everything hands at the same time. Brakes, tires, right, 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 you know, right. Right. Nothing unusual. Just how many, miles, great, but, how many miles you have on this? Uh, just got it. It's a 30, 2800 something. Three thousand maybe. Wow. Cool. To the air filter is part of the stage one kit. The air filter and the uh, fish tail pipes. Okay. What, what's part of the stage two? Cam? Uh, it's a cam, yep. Oh, cam? cam uh, that's basically the stage two is the, just the high performance cam. And then do they, do they put an external uh, computer on there to, to monitor everything, or do they, just, do they just reprogram the current ECU? I believe they just reprogram it. Okay. At, at this point, it's just, just reprogram it. And then what's next? There's a, one, there's a bore kit to take it out to 116. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that's that's it, you ride and tell me if you think of 116 is necessary. I don't. Right. I, I got all I got all I can use right now. No, I'm sure I'm sure that's plenty. Well, cool. I'm gonna take it for a spin. Yep. All right, guys. Before we take this thing for a spin, let's do the words of wisdom. Second Timothy, Second Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training and righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. I'm really excited that this guy. Uh, what came down? Let me take his uh, take his Indian for a spin. And despite despite popular belief, <laughs> for some reason, everyone thinks I hate Indians. I love Indians. Now he's telling me that this thing's a monster, and I uh, it is nice riding one of these big Indians again. Indian's got a different feel. This is a completely different feel than what you would get from a Harley. And I don't know if I can really put, put my finger on it. The throttle is very light. Clutch is extremely light. The handling of the bike also feels light. And this is a big bike. This is no, this is no small little small little bike. It's a fairly fairly big fella. So he's saying this thing's pushing out over 120. Under 20 foot pounds. And it sure seems like it. Hey, I got an idea. Let's let's uh let's do it a zero to 60 pool on the highway. Let's do a zero to sixty run on the highway and see if this thing is I'm trying to turn. The, there you go. See if I can see if this thing could do faster than the Scout. It's little baby brother. I love how all this is so incredibly clean. That black black, the blacked out handlebars, and they're big old fat handlebars. You feel very connected to the bike. The solo seat looks mean. I don't know what it is about these Indian Crips. I 
love them. It's such a good feel to it. So that windshield, we'll see what it does on the highway. I'm actually getting a lot of wind in my face, which I'm, that's awesome. I'm all about that. <coughs> now here's a question for me, for you. What's the deal with these? All right, that one. That's for gas. I guess this one. I'm not gonna, maybe, I don't know, I'm not gonna turn that. It doesn't turn as easy as this one. A lot of people, um, and these are a lot of like diehard Harley guys that hate Indians, but I, I, I don't know why we need that. I don't know why that's necessary. Just to hate on Indians. Okay, you like Harley, that's fine. I'm generally a Ford guy. I don't own a single, I own two Fords, but most of my cars are not Fords right now. You know what I mean? It's, you know, just cause, all right, I love Harley Davidson. Cool, that's awesome. Doesn't mean you have to hate on Indian. I, mean, I get it, I kind of get it. If you're like, I like American, I'm gonna hate on Honda. That kind of makes sense. Probably not the best move, but kind of make, kind of makes sense. But, um, I don't know why we have to have this these polarizing views about Indian and American. There's two companies out there. There's two. We have two companies. Let's let's try to make them work. It is in everyone. Okay, listen. Whether you love okay, let's say you're a die-hard Harley fan, right? You die-hard Harley fan. It is absolutely in your best interest for Indian to make an amazing motorcycle at an amazing price. And let me explain to you why. It's the power of competition. If all there is, is Harley by themselves doing their own thing, what do you think is gonna happen? Right, there's no competition. All right. I don't think I did that run uh, justice. Back end kicked out in the in the in the start. It's got it's torquey. It's very torquey. I'm gonna get away from this stupid truck throwing rocks at me. It is six speed. You got the uh, you got the indicator. This is currently switched to the tachometer. 70 degrees outside. I don't know what that means. Wow, 39 miles to the gallon. That's pretty good. Range, 200 more miles to go. Let's wait a full tank. So, you, you love Harleys, right? You're a diehard Harley guy. You want, the best thing you could ever have is for Harley to have a little bit of competition with the competitive bikes, with good quality. It's gonna keep the prices down and keep Harley Davidson on their toes. If they have no competition, they're gonna do whatever they wanna do because you're gonna buy it and they know it. So you, so if you're a diehard Harley fan and you hate Indian, you should be rooting for Indian to do well. Same thing with the opposite. Same thing if you're a diehard Indian fan. We should all be hoping that another American company comes out and starts making some good quality bikes to keep everyone on their toes and to keep their prices competitive. This is Economics 101. All right, we're gonna get up the highway. Maybe I'll try to see if I can get a better uh, zero to 60. He's right, the bike's, the bike's, the bike's quick, it runs good. Honestly, um, I don't know what would happen if I ran this up against my 110 my CVO Road King 110. This will probably win. I asked him how much he, uh, how much it cost. He said this thing was under uh, around 18.5. 18.5 is not bad. It's a beautiful bike. 
And the interesting thing is, as of right now, there really is no Harley Davidson equivalent of this bike. Because this is the same everything as a, um, you know, as the uh, cheap vintage and, the, and then the big bikes, except no, no, no upper fairing and no saddlebags. If it had the saddlebags, it'd be like the Road King. If it had the upper and saddlebags, it'd be like the Street Light. So this is a pretty, uh, and I think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful bike. Go. That was kind of the exact same thing. Um, back tower's just spinning. It's got torque. I wish this thing would, uh, maybe it feels a little bit hotter. It's not, it's pretty nice outside in the 60s. That's great. This thing's a blast. Beautiful bike. So, just to combat everyone, all 850,000 people who watched my last, if not my last, but one of my Indian videos, where I just had a few un very unusual experiences with it, where something went bad from the something went bad from you know from like it being manufactured um the gauge went bad when i got it fixed it was a bunch of like five very unusual experiences all in a row kind of gave me a little bad taste in my mouth i've never once been like i don't like it i like indians i've always liked indians but all these people are just like you're indian hater and i, I got so much if you read the comments they're hilarious but i got so much hate from it even it was it got so bad that my mother-in-law was like why do you keep this video up all you're getting is hate on this video and then i showed her how much money i made from that video and i think she understood all right six gear just rolling on the throttle this thing i mean it's what you would expect it just cruises effortlessly feels very smooth for a twin it's got cruise control over here. Um, just a cool bike. It's a super cool bike. It's got eyes. When I say it's got eyes, I mean people are always looking at it. This thing's a showstopper when you when you roll up because it's not a Harley. It's a different looking bike. It, it is an Indian. Indians are beautiful bikes. Um, and there's not as many of them out there. If you actually look at how many bikes are registered, Harley's got 50% of the market right now. Honda's got 11 and it trickles down and Indian's like less than two last time I checked. So if you ride an Indian, it, it is rare. And I think their prices are competitive. I think it's totally worth it. All right, guys, that wraps it up. We'll see you guys later. If you guys are looking for uh, the baddest, baddest M1 moto gloves or motorcycle gloves lined with Kevlar to ride your motorcycle, these are the ones. Check them out, look in the link below at uh, bikesandbeardsgear.com. Uh, we shipped these out of our place. We had these manufactured for us. They were expensive to make because mm, it, Kevlar's not cheap. Kevlar's not cheap, but we figured out a way to keep the prices down. All right, guys, remember, it's not what you're riding, but where are you going?